Hello, this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. This video is for Mark in Pennsylvania. Okay, so here we have your pump, which is a 92 500 SCL. This is one of the first production pumps uh, for the W140 because you even miss an FKS circuit. So most of the pumps that were made later, they have this port. This only has mm, ports, whatever we have, except for FKS. Which is fine, this car has um, electric headrests, so this is basically headrests, and um, pretty much all there is, uh, headrests. So we have electric ones in uh, this particular vehicle, so we don't need this port. Um, basically the motor was blown completely, this is the motor here. I don't know if you can hear that little noises there. Well, anyway, the brushes were completely gone. One of them is bent. Like you can see a part of this brush there. This one you don't even see because it's bent in. As you can see the bend. So this is totally screwed. See this, the, the brush on the left bottom is supposed to look this, the, 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 you know, the same, it's going to be the same look on the top right top right brush holder is bent in so it's completely destroyed as you can see maybe there a glimpse of the armature contacts so motor is gone uh, pressure hose also had to be replaced because it was too soft now the pump has been on the bench for quite a little bit now so I do have a very good pro very good um, pressure and vacuum it's not leaking internally as we create pressure leak As you can see, it starts right up and it shuts right up too. Very nice and inflated pressure reservoir. Same for vacuum. Yep. Missed that one. Because this is very, the pump is very sensitive to these leaks. So if there is internal leak, as you can see, it didn't seal well and then started to um, cycle. there well obviously this is homemade stuff so but um, once it creates enough vacuum it should not cycle and that's exactly what it does this is perfect so right now we have the rear handle the rear trunk trunk handle connected so let's check the pressure and vacuum on that now what we need to see here is the pressure and vacuum so the pressure is gonna go to like 0.4 vacuum is gonna go to 0 0.4 0 0.5 which is within specification, it's supposed to be like 0.3 or so. As you can see, it goes a little higher, so it pushes the handle out and vacuum pulls handle back in again. So, this is great. Now we move on to our next port RH. Now, the RH is rear antennas so those are the antennas that come extend from the trunk area from the rear fenders when you back up and uh, they will go up and down that was pressure to push antennas up and after a little bit of time when you go back into drive or neutral or park antennas will be going, antennas be, will be going down there is a delay. If you go quick, as you can see, if you go quick, just accidentally go into reverse and then quickly go back to park or something, antennas will start going up and go down right away. But if you had, see I'm applying the reverse and I'm holding it, when I let go, you hear a click and then there is delay <clears throat> just in case you're parking so antennas remain extend it for some time just in case you're parking so they don't need to go in and out frequently to run the pump often and of course central locking that's all of our door locks that's vacuum to lock the car one more time and unlock the car 
See, the pressures are just within specifications where we want them to be. Vacuum is great too. Pressure and vacuum. Lock. Unlock. So we're good here. Obviously, the whole pump had to be removed. The, the veins, this is a little different design. So there's only four veins versus six. Newer pumps have six veins, so it, it takes a little time, it's a little slower than the newer pumps because newer pumps have more veins, so obviously it pumps faster. This only has four, and it also has plastic cap on top. It didn't crack, which is also a really good thing, because usually they start cracking, so you have to seal them to get uh, no leaks in the actual pump circuit. So this one is fine. So um, this is basically all for now, so the pump is ready to go back in the vehicle. I don't have no issues with the pump. If there is going to be a cycling in the pump, then I will have to search which circuit is leaking. But so far, so good. So I'll put it back in the car now, and we'll see how it works in the vehicle. It should be fine, though. If any issues, I'll make another video of the car, of the pump being in the car, because the car is right next, you know, it's right here, so I can just install it. All right, so this is all for now. This is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.